What is the ringing of the ears all about? Many people experience these kind of different tones and pitches taking place, usually when they're engaged in some kind of activity and usually a spiritual activity, or at least that's what we're speaking about in this context. We're not speaking about the condition such as tinnitus. So I'm going to give you a clear illustration of one of the things or one of the possibilities of what is taking place. And this is due to my own direct experience of this. Many years ago in my early journey, especially, I would have a lot of these different pitches and tones happening constantly. And when I say constantly, I mean multiple times a day. And this was when there was a great acceleration, a kind of brand new acceleration taking place in my sort of spiritual evolution and awakening process. So I've got a good idea of of what was actually happening from inward direct experience. And the good news is that it is a very positive sign. So let us now take a look on the board and let us go through what exactly is taking place. Okay, so if you've ever asked the question, why do I keep getting these tones, pitches, these changes happening within me? then this is what we're going to look at right now. And hopefully this will give some clarity so that you know that it's a positive process that's happening, that they are good signs and that you're moving in the right direction. You see, we are made of frequencies. We are made of energy and sound. So we are frequency, we are vibration. And also thoughts are a form of energy and frequency. So there are different kinds of thoughts. There's kind of low frequency thoughts and high frequency thoughts. And most of mankind has been conditioned and programmed to hold low frequency thoughts. And these are thoughts that are based in a sense of lack. And they are thoughts that are ultimately not true. They're false. And what happens is when people take them on, they become beliefs that get stored in the subconscious. So this means that most people don't even know that they're carrying these kinds of beliefs, these low frequency thoughts and beliefs. So when you are exposed to spiritual literature of the spiritual sciences, when you embark upon the spiritual path, when you are practicing meditation and various different spiritual practices, when you are around certain people of a certain frequency, when you find yourself in a certain space of nature, let's say, you may find that the frequency changes. And this is when you may hear these different tones and pitches. Even on certain astrological dates, this can happen as well. And what is really essentially happening is that there is some release of these low frequency thoughts happening in which they may be just released themselves or they may be replaced by high frequency thoughts or they may reach the zero point. The zero point is the core of ourselves, which is non-physical. Essentially what we are is pure non-physical spirit or pure non-physical source. When we come into that realization of that, when we shift from the level of thinking in the body to the level of spirit and source, we enter the zero point. And ultimately, we cannot describe what this zero point is, but we can say that one of its qualities is that it is more silent than silence. You see, even silence is a kind of frequency, a kind of sound. It's just a very, very quiet sound. You can listen and you can hear a silence. And it's a silence or a sound that is beyond what the 
the mind can consciously comprehend. But it's still a form of sound. It's still a frequency. But then there is a silence underneath that silence. A silence beyond that silence. And that silence is of this source nature. Pure source. Pure non-physical source. Because pure non-physical source is ultimately beyond all frequency and energy. It's what gave birth to frequency and energy. Sometimes I've referred to it as a black hole, but that sometimes scares people. But when you think of the power of a black hole, well, you are that power, okay? And when people think of a black hole, they think of a complete void. And yes, it may be a void of things, it may be a void of sound and frequency, but it's not a void of intelligence or non-intelligence. It's not devoid of intelligence. There is intelligence there because source is the pure intelligence. Spirit is the pure intelligence. So what can often happen is when we're having these changes of pitch and frequency, it is because somehow we are releasing these low frequency thoughts, maybe because we've read a piece of material that counters our previous belief. Right, Maybe even a belief that we didn't even know we had. And by reading that new piece of information or by having a new insight or a new realization, a realization is something, a seeing of that which is real is what a realization is. So when we see something that is real, when we see an illusion, when we read some book that points that out, when we have an experience in meditation, when we go beyond our mind in meditation, all of these are ways of releasing these low frequency thoughts. And so that's the pitch that you are experiencing, a change. All of a sudden, these tones start happening, that ringing in the ear takes place. And you might wonder, where has it come from? And it's the releasing of these lower frequency thoughts. And often, like we said, they can be replaced by a high frequency thought, meaning that you read a piece of information, a piece of spiritual knowledge, and it gives you a, a high frequency thought, which is a concept about reality and yourselves, that it is more pointing towards abundance, pointing towards truth. So that's a high frequency one. So it may shift from low frequency to high frequency, and you feel that, that tone. But also you may shift straight from a low frequency thought all the way into pure silence, into the zero point. This often happens in meditation. It might happen in self-inquiry. It might happen in a, a spiritual awakening shift. I know for myself that there was a great contrast from how things were before the awakening to afterwards. So. It was a completely mind-blowing experience that took place, a deafening silence, a constant stream of new downloads of new information of this high frequency downloads and information, and the letting go of all the low frequency thoughts. And of course, what's happening is that you're, you're moving up the scale, right? We, this is the ascension, if you will like moving up the spine, all these low frequency thoughts, they're all down here in the lower energy centers. They're all about survival, our more primal instincts. And a lot of it's all going on in the subconscious. Sub means below, conscious means threshold of the mind. So subconscious means it's going on below the threshold of the mind, which means that you're not aware of it. When something is subconscious, you're not conscious of it. It's going on in the background. So many people have got these layers and layers of programming and false beliefs within them at a subconscious level, which is keeping their frequency and consciousness down, keeping and pulling them into a lower vibration. And as soon as one embarks upon the spiritual path and looking at the spiritual sciences, then naturally these things are going to start to shift and be released, and you're going to move to the more high-frequency thoughts, which get narrower and narrower. This stands for 
thoughts per minute. TPM is thoughts per minute. The average person has about 30 to 60,000 thoughts every day. So how many thoughts they have per minute? Well, they may be having, I don't know, maybe 100 thoughts per minute, let's say. That's a lot of thoughts in one minute. So as we become more awake, we find that we have fewer thoughts and the thoughts that we do have are more quality. They're of a more high frequency. And we might move from 100 to having maybe just five to 10 pure thoughts in a minute, maybe less than even that. And certainly when we move to the zero point, this is what the spiritual masters, the saints, the sages have always talked about, is that you move to the point of no mind, no mind, non-thinking. And in non-thinking, you are just there as a pure witness, a pure source, eternal witness of whatever is taking place, not engaged in it, just simply witnessing whatever is happening, not thinking about anything not conceptualizing anything. You've gone beyond all of the thought into the silence that is even beyond the sound of silence. And this is when we've ascended up to the crown and even then maybe come into the heart itself. And then what happens is we very naturally shift to what we might call a prime frequency. You see, this body, your body, my body, we all have a prime frequency. And the prime frequency is what is original to this body. So what I mean by this, we can use the example of a laptop. A laptop is the hardware, just like this body is the hardware. It's been designed to function perfectly. This body has been designed to function perfectly. We have everything we need. We have everything we need to be connected to the source, to be self-sufficient, to ascend, to grow. Everything is encoded within here, right? This is a, actually a perfect organism. But what happens is it becomes imperfect when we start taking on programs. So just like a laptop, as a laptop is the hardware, the software are the programs that get downloaded onto that laptop. And then it starts to change the original function, the way that the laptop functions. It goes from being its, its natural state to an unnatural state. And that's what's going on with most people's bodies. They've taken on programming. They've been subjected to indoctrination, to programming, also just a product of their mind, taking on experiences and putting it into the back of the mind. And most people live through these subconscious stories, these belief systems, patterns in the mind that they're not even really aware of. And they're all of a low vibrational nature and they're not original to who you actually are. So what, mean, what that means is that you stray from your prime frequency. The body then strays from the prime frequency because you've got all these subconscious beliefs going on in the body because the mind is actually all over the body. It's not just in the head. They're finding that the memory, the mind, is, is everywhere. It's in every cell of your body. So when you are holding these low-frequency subconscious beliefs, it's actually changing the whole frequency of the body and even your energetic field. We know that we have an energetic field, the auric field, okay? That even changes when we are taking on and holding all of these subconscious beliefs. And they're like a broken record that is playing constantly over and over again. So as we awaken more and more and ascend, we begin to wipe clean this subconscious programming by making it conscious, by looking at it and saying, is it true? Because we only hold it because we believe it's true and because we've never questioned it. As soon as we look at it again and question it and say, okay, it's not true, it has the opportunity then to be released, to be dropped. The analogy is like a man that is holding a poisonous snake 
and he is looking at everybody else and he's saying, what do I do? He knows it is poisonous. He knows it could harm him. And yet he's still holding it, right? And he's asking everybody else, what do I do? Well, as soon as we're conscious that something is poisoning us, keeping us in a low frequency, in an unnatural state, we can drop it, right? And once we drop it, it liberates us from a lower consciousness and we start to move into higher frequencies, into higher consciousness. And then we may find that the thoughts that are going through the mind are of a more higher frequency nature. But that's not the end of the journey. As we've replaced it from low frequency to high frequency thoughts and knowledge, usually from spiritual literature, there's a time where that then becomes an obstacle. Even the high frequency thoughts become an obstacle from getting to the highest of all frequencies, which is the zero point beyond all frequencies. And it's when we reach the zero point that the whole body goes through a recalibration back to the prime frequency. So in other words, it's like a reset. The whole body resets back to that prime frequency, back to the way that it was meant to be. So it is like you have a fresh blank canvas to paint upon. You have the prime frequency of the body. Now, from the zero point, you can actually begin to use thoughts, use thinking, even use beliefs as a tool. And the difference is massive because for most people, what is happening is they don't use the mind, the mind uses them. The beliefs are being held there, whether they want them to be held there or not. When we get to the zero point, our true nature, as the eternal witness, we can actually use the thought like a tool. We can use belief like a tool. And it becomes a layering of energy to change our frequency for a certain purpose, to manifest, to create something in particular, to be a certain way. And it all becomes in our power to do so. And we're not holding any of it. We don't have to hold a belief we use the belief. Once it has done its job, we release it. Because every time we go back to the zero point, there is a reset that takes place. And this could be happening multiple times a day. When one comes into the awakened state, then you can reset things on a daily basis. So you may be thinking something throughout the day, you go and sit down, maybe for meditation, you tap into the, med the zero point. At that point, once you've accessed the zero point, in all honesty, you are always in the meditative place because as the eternal witness, you're always meditative. So then meditation takes on a new, new meaning where it's not really a practice anymore that you sit down and do. It becomes a quality of your natural way of being. And that means that then, at any moment, you can reset the mind and the frequency back to the prime frequency and then put something new upon that canvas. It's like having a blank canvas, painting something. You go back to the zero point, it all gets wiped clean. Then you paint something else, you see? And you can do that over and over again. Whereas in the subconscious and unconscious state, there's no ability to reset. It's just a repetition, a groundhog day of the same patterns, the same thoughts over and over again. And thus the same frequency, the same feelings, the same reactions, the same kinds of results. So this is what, in my experience, mainly is happening with these different tones and frequencies. When that happens, it's a positive sign because it means you're moving from the low frequency thoughts, subconscious, to the high frequency, and maybe even tapping into the silence of the zero point. Okay, so I hope that explains that for you. And um, I'd love to know your thoughts about it. And uh, I love you all. And as always, enjoy the ride.